things from God. Hallelujah. And God is telling us to change the content of our prayer so that we get greater things in the kingdom of yes. God. Yes. We must go back and see how is our prayer life. What are we doing? And why are we at this status? Because the kind of prayer that we make. Yes. So when we change the content of our prayer, God is going to change the content of our life. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. How does our life get changed? By the content of the prayer Amen. we make. Hallelujah. Today I'm going to take you to draw a small portion in the Old Testament where we find uh, how God had a favor for a lady. Praise the Lord. Amen. We will come to Genesis chapter 29. I want to tell you right from the beginning, you are very special in the sight of God. Amen. You may be not very significant in the sight of your parents. Amen. You may not be very attractive and good looking. You may not have the talents that the others have, but you are very unique and precious in God's sight. Amen. God wants to remind you so much that you are so unique and special. The devil will tell you you are useless, good for nothing. You have lived so much and nothing has happened. But God is telling you that you are very unique and special. I'm going to take you to the life of uh, someone whom nobody has ever preached about. It is, uh, let's come to Genesis chapter 29, verse 17 and 18. G Genesis 29, verse 17 and 18. Can somebody read that for me quickly, please? Leah's eyes were delicate, yeah. but Rachel was beautiful of form and appearance. Yes. Now Jacob loved Rachel. Yes. So he said, I will serve you seven years for Rachel, your younger daughter. Two girls in the family, Leah and Rachel. Rachel was so beautiful. Leah was just ordinary. But the verse starts like this. Leah's eyes were tender. The eyes are the expressions of the heart. So when it is written, the word says, Leah's eyes were tender, it meant that she had a tender heart. She was a unique person in the presence of God. Amen. Jacob saw the beauty of the younger girl, Rachel, and she lo he loved Rachel. So he asked of their father to give Rachel to him because he was attracted by Rachel. See, sometimes we may not be in demand. We may be the second person when nobody is around. Okay, let's give it to her. We may not be the one who is liked in the house. We know of the story of David. He was not even looked at. Jesse had called all the other children. And then Samuel said, No, do you have one more child? Any more left? He said, Yes, one shepherd boy. He's out in the field, outcast. Nobody wanted to see even David. He was not counted as one of the sons, but God had counted him Amen. as a king of Israel. Amen. You may not be counted in your family. You may not be counted within the community. You may not be counted among your friends, but let me tell you tonight, you are precious, selected, unique, Amen. elected by the grace of God. Amen. Hallelujah. 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 The two girls living all their life, when they go to school, everybody will say, Rachel is so beautiful. Mia, why are you like this? All the time she had that negative things. You know how people grow up together and one child is very bright, the other one is not. Oh, how are you like this? So this was her problem right through in her life. Amen. But God had seen that. So what happened? Here comes Jacob. He wants to marry Rachel. And our father, Father-in-law, Laban, he decides to trick Rachel, uh, Jacob. And what does he do after working seven years? He gets a marriage done and looks at the night and finds who is he bed with? He's <laughs> yeah. with the wrong girl. Can you imagine what an experience? You get married, propose to somebody, and get married and come home and find you are with the wrong person. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. I'm sure Jacob must have been furious on that night. The worst experience that he could have ever had. And think of Leah. Think of her. She was trapped. She was put in like that. Let me tell you why they, God allowed that. Because Jacob was a master of tricks. So God decided to trick him at his trick. And offered him something which he was not interested in as his first wife. He could not take it. But today let me tell you. God had more plans in the life of Leah than in Rachel. Amen. Yes. Today my message is, 
There are some leaders who are ignored by their father, ignored by their husband, ignored by their society, not counted by anyone, but counted by God for unique purposes. Amen. Think of the 12 tribes. How many of them came from Leah? Most of them. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nobody mentions about it. Here is a lady unmentioned, not forgotten, not preached, but counted as the mother of the tribes of Israel. Are you going to give birth to such things? Let's take, uh, let's go ahead. What happened? They got married. You know the story. Since the time is very short, I want to quickly say, go ahead. Uh, verse 31. Verse 31. We like to look into the subject quickly. Verse 31. When the Lord saw that Leah was unloved, yeah. he opened, opened her womb. God saw that after the marriage, Leah was unloved. God sees that you are unloved. You are crying around for love. Telling my husband is not loving me. My husband is not loving me. He is only bothered about the job. He is only bothered about somebody else. He is bothered about what is happening. He is not bothered about me. God saw that. Woo! Here is a God who sees that. Can you imagine? Amen. Have you ever realized that there is a God who sees that you are not loved? Loved by your children? You are expecting love from everywhere. She was expecting love from her husband. And there he was not loving her. God saw that. So God decided to do something. Open her womb. Amen. And God closed Rachel's womb. Yeah. Hallelujah. So the first son was named Reuben. You know what is the name of the Reuben means? Because God has seen my afflictions. Verse 32. Reuben means what? The Lord has seen my afflictions. Hallelujah. The tribe begins there. When God sees your affliction, you are actually giving birth to tribes of Israel. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you pass through affliction, you are going to give birth to Reuben, who is going to be the first among the tribe of Israel. I don't know whether you are understanding whatever situation that you are going through, the afflictions are going to give birth to Reuben. Hallelujah. Which is the answer that God has given you. Yes. God blocked somebody to promote you. Hallelujah. Why are you looking at human beings for promotion? The Lord. Jesus Hallelujah. is your provider. Yes. God is your protector. Amen. He is your promoter. Can we all say it together, my God is my promoter. Amen. He is going to promote you. In every area of your life, you don't have to look around for appreciation. You don't have to look around for love. But he has chosen him. Amen. He opened the womb and gave this Reuben. Then what happened? He did not stop with that. He gave two more. What is the second one? He conceived again and gave the second one. He conceived again and gave the third one. Simeon and Levi. And finally she conceived again and gave birth to Judah. Four big strong tribes of Israel came out from Leah. Amen. Amen. Through the afflictions. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Priesthood came out from Leah. Yeah. Judah. Amen. The tribe which brought Jesus came out from Leah. Yeah. Who? You are yeah. Leah. You are an ordinary one. Neglected one. Unwanted one. Not respected one. No beauty. No charm. <laughs> Only a tender <laughs> eyes. A tender heart. But things are going to birth to you. Birth through you. Birth through you. Amen. Priesthood is going to come through you. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Priesthood is going to come through you. Amen. Christ's plan, the church will come through you. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Best praying is looking for some Leah. Don't look around for appreciation. Don't look to impress people. Stop doing things to impress people. Align yourself with right with God. Once you are aligned correctly with God, once your prayer life is straightened right with God, God will lift you up. Hallelujah. 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 Rachel had all, att all attraction. Rachel had all appreciation. Rachel had the first preference. But she is crying in the next chapter. Next chapter beginning, if you see, you find Rachel is desperately telling uh, Jacob, uh, verse 1 and 2, 30 verse 1 and 2. Now when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, ah. 
Rachel envied her sister and um, said to Jacob, yeah. Give me children or else I die. You know, as if it is Jacob's fault that she's not having children. Mm -hmm. Jacob is giving children left and right, no problem. <laughs> but Rachel is not having, the problem is not Jacob's. But she is going to the wrong person is asking, Jacob, you give me children. Jacob cannot give you children. Only God can give you children. Amen. Don't go to the wrong person and start Amen. asking Amen. for wrong things. Amen. Your provision for every area of your life will be given through the provider, Jehovah Jireh. Amen. Amen. Imagine Jacob's condition. Luckily, he didn't know much of uh, gynecology or fertility or <laughs> anything, so anything. All he could say was, take me here. I am. What is the wonderful answer Jacob gives? Jacob got angry and told Jacob and told Rachel. What did he say? He said, "I am." Am I in the place of God? God, God instead. Uh, he who has withheld your fruit of your womb. So Jacob really knew that it was God who had withheld the womb of Rachel. Is there any Rachel sitting here? I don't know who are very, very attractive, very outside this thing, but productivity is zero. The womb is closed. No tribe, nothing from inside. God wants to open. God wants to touch your womb. Don't ask Jacob, ask God himself. Amen. Who is going to open up your, your blocked areas in your life. Amen. Hallelujah. Today may be the first time you are hearing a message on Leah. But let me just mention a few things about Rachel. Only God can ever open her womb. If there is any Rachel with blocked fertility, production, no children, Amen. ask God to open your womb and God is going to do that for you. Other beautiful thing is, not only Judah, the only girl that was born, Dina, also was born by Leah. Leah gave birth the only girl that Jacob had. So sometimes it's good to have girls. <laughs> Nobody is saying hallelujah. <laughs> Especially for the father, it's very good to have a girl. And all the fathers, mothers would love to have sons and the fathers would love to have a girl. And Jacob must have looked for a girl. And only Dina was provided by, the only Dina was provided by Leah, that girl. And let me tell you, the boy's production is always from the father's side because the Y chromosome is from the father. The triple X, two X, if mother is very dominating, you can have two X and you can have any number of girls. The Y chromosome has to come from the father. So partly Rachel was right, but the connection, the linking of the Y goes only by the power of God. Hallelujah. Amen. Today your future generation and your promises will de depend on the power of the Spirit that works in you. Amen. Ask God to work in your life. Today we heard in the previous message, the first thing as inheritance that you should ask is for the Holy Spirit. Amen. God says, I will give you in plenty. I will give you more than you ask. This is something which you will give in plenty. You ask for height in life, you may get up to six feet. But Holy Spirit, you will get that to any measure. Amen. You will ask for money in life, you may get to some limits. But Holy Spirit is unlimited. Amen. The only thing that you will get unlimited when you ask in the kingdom of God is the Spirit of God. Amen. Ask for the unlimited experience of the Spirit of God. So that all your fruitlessness, will barrenness, will change and God will bless you. Since this time is running forward, let me go very quickly. See, Jacob always had a, a second plan for Leah. And first preference always for us, Rachel, till the end. <laughs> but I will just point out two, three things. When he was coming back on his return, he was going to meet his angry brother, Esau, at the riverside. You know who he sent first? Leah. She was the one who was sent to face the enemy. Poor Leah, look at the ministry she has to do. She had to produce all the children. Rachel was always protected, kept behind. I thank God for the Leahs in the kingdom of God. I thank God because they have the courage, because they have nothing to lose. When you have nothing to lose, you have many things to gain in the kingdom of God. 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Amen. When you are asked to speak very short messages, you can take on chapters which are very short. Because I know however much I can speak, I can speak only very little about this person. But these are very crucial things that you can ever remember in your life. Yes. Hallelujah. Jacob decided to take and send her. If Esau is very angry and kills the first wife who should go, then I can run with other one. <laughs> Think of the way that he pushed her. Time is not there, otherwise I would have taken the chapter. You can go back and read. It was Lena who was uh, it was Leah who was sent first to meet Esau. But Leah, I'm sure, after having built up, brought up four boys, have really learned to deal with men. <laughs> it must be something that she went across and said to Esau that made everything changed. Because she knows how to deal with men. She had a lot of boys in her house. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God had prepared her for that great encounter of Jacob's enemy, eternal enemy, or his own brother coming and the thing is going to, meeting is going to happen. And here is his first wife doing that great work for him. Amen. Finally, before I close, let me say, you know, Rachel was buried on the way. Amen. Rachel was not given an honorable burial. Amen. You can look up the portion and says Rachel was buried on the way. Amen. But Leah was not buried on the way. We will check the, look at that portion. Uh, Genesis chapter 49 verse 31. The end of Leah was equally more beautiful, more fruitful, more powerful, more meaningful yes. than Rachel. Uh, Genesis chapter 49 verse 31. There, there they buried Abraham and Sarah his wife. There they buried Isaac and Rebekah his wife. And there they buried Leah. Leah was buried in a place called Machpelah. Where who all? Abraham, Sarah, Isaac, Rebekah all were buried. Amen. Rachel was left on the way. But Leah was buried on real promised place. You know, you live a life in connection with God, not dependent on your husband, Amen. not dependent on your wife, not dependent on your children, not dependent on the circumstances, not looking at the afflictions, but having a relationship with your Father in heaven. He is your provider. Amen. You know, when Laban was actually pushing this girl on the first night to Jacob, he was pushing it as a my burden go. Whom will I give? I cannot get another husband. So now this is the best time the trick can give. It was like giving off some, tricking off. But she was not a burden for God. She was a blessing in the hand of God. She was not an extra person looking for the second fiddle. But she was the first choice to produce the main tribes of Israel. And she did not have a local end, ordinary end, wayside end. She had a glorious end with the fathers. Amen. God wants to bless you tonight. You are very precious in God's sight. Nobody else may be watching you, but here is a loving father watching you. Nobody else may know what is your future, but he knows your future. He knows what he has plans for you. He has something very unique for you. Beyond things which your father has planned. Beyond things which your husband has planned. Beyond things which your children have planned. Amen. Something very unique. Receive and get connected to my master. Amen. Heavenly Father, Amen. let the content of your prayer, yes. let the heart of your life have a tender heart, have a tender eyes. The only qualification Leah had was a tender eye. Amen. How many of us have a tender eye tonight? Amen. Not a cruel eye. Not a criticizing eyes, not a judging eyes, not a questioning eyes, not a doubting eyes, but a tender eyes. Amen. That is the secret of your success. Amen. And you are going to be the mother of many tribes in this city. Amen. Hallelujah. God is going to raise up nations through you. Amen. 
get your relationship with right with God. Shall we bow our heads in the presence of God? Amen. God has been speaking to us wonderfully tonight, in different form tonight. He wants to use you. He wants to give you something which nobody thinks in your life. Amen. Nobody plans in your life. Even you yourself have thought, what am I good for? I am rejected one. I am the second fiddle. I am the one who no one wants. But God says, I love you so much. You are precious and honored in my sight. I died for you on the cross of Calvary. I have great plans for you. It is not according to human eyes that he looks at you. He looks at your heart and he sees your tender eyes. The caring eyes, the loving eyes. He sees you as you are tonight. And the mighty work of God is going to happen. He will open up your womb. And he will give you tribes and nations in your life. Let us be one leader for the, for the kingdom of God. Producing tribes. Producing Levites. Producing Judah. Producing uh, Reuben. And all other experiences. Hallelujah. May God satisfy all our thirst. By just delighting in him. What are we thirsting for tonight? What are we seeking for tonight? If you are going to seek after his heart. He will quench your thirst. Hallelujah. He will satisfy you. Hallelujah. And He will flood your heart with goodness. Hallelujah. We want to pray for all of you. Amen. Don't be satisfied with the experiences you have. Don't be satisfied with the level which you are running. God has something very special. Amen. Don't try to impress anyone around. But get your relationship right with God. Ministry is not impressing somebody. Ministry is not. Christian life is not to show off. It is to get right with God. Shall we get right with God tonight and say, Lord, I am yours and yours alone. Amen. Take me, Lord, and use me, Lord. The rest of my life, I want to live for the glory of God. Fill me with your Holy Spirit. Empower me. God is going to bless you. Shall we pray? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.